there. Lori here. Welcome to my world and welcome to Techie Tuesday. Today we're going to be working in Photo P, but first I wanted to pop in here for a minute and say hello and thank you so much for coming in and hanging out. We are working on Photo P, like I said, and if you're not familiar, it's P H O T O P E A dot com. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink my screen down. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just hide it. Oops, <laughs> there's my backyard. And let's um, let's hide that too. Oops, let's hide that too. And then we've got photo P. So last week we left off. We were making a cover for our. Um, I hope I'm recording both screens here. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm still getting used to this. It's called OBS Studio, and it is allowing me to tape both myself and my screen and everything. However, it doesn't like my editing software, so what you see is what you get. <laughs> There will be no editing involved with this. So, like I said, last week we were working on a cover for YouTube, and we're just going to continue this. So instead of starting a new project, we're going to go one link down and hit Open from Computer. And it should bring up something similar to this. And I have my, well, no, I'm not going to bring mine up. I'm going to bring the one up that I have for this. So you're just going to search until you find the one that you want. Uh, and then this, so this is the one that we started last week. And as you can say, it's pretty darn plain. But if you look at, let's look at my channel. Okay, I've got that muted. So this is what we're working on. And you might wonder, why are we looking at a file that's this size when we're making something that's going to fit in this long, narrow area? Well, the thing is, with YouTube, it shows differently on different devices, and it depends on the screen size. So mine will actually shrink down as small as just to show basically the flower and the wording, depending on what device you're on. And then I'm on my computer, so it shows most of the background. And if I were somewhere where it was going to show my whole page, it would show the whole picture, which I'll bring that up and I'll show you actually how to make guides. And that's why I was going to bring my picture up, is to show you how to make guides. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Can I just close it? Yeah, well, let's just open another one. So I'm going to open the other one. And I am going to go back to my own. Do, 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 do. Where is it? In here. Open the PSD file. So what I wanted to show you, one of the first things that I wanted to show you today was how to set your guides so that you know on your picture um, where you need your wording to be and where you need your uh, other stuff to be. So we've got our rulers showing and if yours are not showing the rulers on the side and on the top you just need to go up here to view and then hit rulers and you can go here to show and do i already have some guides i do i have one guide i've got my bottom guide in there so i will leave that now i'm going to go back here and look at this and see where is it cutting off on the top right and I can see that it cuts off just across the roof line and so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click inside here inside the ruler I'm going to click and hold 
and I'm going to drag, and you can see I'm dragging that blue line down there. And that's going to go right about there, I think. Doesn't it go right above the window? I can always come here and move it again on the side if I if I need to. I don't know, is that too far down? No, that's about right. Yeah, okay. And so then when I'm on a phone, I also need some for the sides, right? Because it also will cut off these sides. So again, I'm just going to click inside the ruler and hold, and I'm going to drag my guide to where it needs to be. So here I kind of know now where I need my text to be. Now I find on this that my text doesn't stand out very well. So I am going to add um, a more opaque layer behind that. And opaque just means that it's going to be not fully solid, um, but it's not also going to be transparent. It's going to be kind of somewhere in between there. So I am going to come down here. I've got my tools again over here on the left, starting with my move tool up on the top. And I'm going to scroll down here almost to the bottom until I get to my It'll look like a rectangle, and when I hover over it, it says Rectangle Tool. So I'm going to click on that because I actually want, I'm going to look at these custom shapes first. So I click on that, and you can see I've got my settings up here. And I'm not going to worry too much about my color and my stroke right now because I can go back and I can adjust that. What I want to worry about right now is my shape. So I'm going to come all the way. Oh, I think I want to go to, nope, that's it. I want to go over here to shape. And this should then give me my shapes. And I'm looking for something, hmm, something solid for one thing. Can I make this bigger? Nope, apparently not. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I should have gone through these and, and found one ahead of time. Da, da, da. Oh, here, this will work. Uh, I just got to have some rounded edges, and it's a solid square, and that's all I need. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go right where I want it around my text, and I'm just going to draw and stretch, and... It right there now it's not quite right <laughs> obviously uh, I don't want it to be bright red and the shape isn't quite right so I'm going to come up here to my move tool and a lot of times if I go in here and try to start messing with this again all I'm going to do is draw another one right because I haven't changed uh, I haven't changed tools so I'm going to come I'm going to get rid of that by coming over here to my history and I'm just going to click on the second one and get rid of that. And now I'm going to change tools to my move tool. And I now have my transform controls. Now, if you don't have these transform controls, you need to go, oh, sorry. You need to come up here to where it says auto select and transform controls. And you can turn those on and off. The auto select lets you click on things and select them. If that is turned off, you have to click over here in the layers palette to be able to turn things on and off. So I like those to be on all the time. All right, so now I have that shape selected. Just going to adjust it a little bit. And then I'm going to change. Ooh, that's too far. Okay, I'm going to pull it over. just wanted to touch that line just for symmetrics. <laughs> symmetrics. So it's more symmetrical. Anyway, okay, so now I want to change the color of it. I need to pick my layer. And then I think now I'm not entirely sure how this is going to. Yep, there we go. So I double clicked on the color in the layer, and that has brought up 
this color picker for me and I can now oh and does this work ah it does so this is like an eyedropper tool and you can see it does have an eyedropper tool here but this works to pick any color that you click on in your background picture so I'm going to pick a nice pale purple because you know those are my favorite colors and I'm going to say okay and now I still it's a little too solid I want to make it I want to fade that out a little bit and so I'm going to come up here in my layer opacity and I'm just going to drag that down a little bit so that that starts to maybe show through what's that 50 I think I'll go to 60% you can also type in here, you can highlight this and you can type a number, um, hit your tab key and it will be done. And there, so that now I think makes my name stand out a little bit more. I might add a couple more effects to Lori's world, uh, the wording. So I, I, can, I can click over here in my layers palette and select that and it's automatically selected over here. You can see now I've got the transform controls. I could move it around. I could do whatever I want. What I want to do is brighten it up a little bit more. So I'm going to click on this little EFF button down at the bottom and I am going to add Hmm, I'm going to try an outer glow. Oh, and look at that. It put it right over top of what I want to look at. So if you don't know how to move a box, you click up here in this little top line by the title, not on the title, uh, but by the title. Click and hold and drag it to where you want it to be. And I don't know if that's really what I want. I don't think it is. So I'm going to actually get rid of the outer glow. Oh, yeah, no. And I'm going to bring in a stroke. So I'm going to come here to a stroke. And you can see if I just check the check mark, it makes the change in my wording. But where are my settings for that? Oh, my gosh. So what you actually, you actually have to select that tool or that effect. And you need to make sure that it's it's also selected. And then you can see here that I've got these settings. And I'm going to change this, I think, just to a white. And I'm going to change it to a two. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think that's probably good. <laughs> 